Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time. The Moed Shel Raga. The appointed time of refreshing. Come on. Let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the word of God. Moet Sharaga, oh, Moet Sharaga, the appointed time of refreshing. It's time for the word, the word of God. Time to be blessed. At Refresh for in his presence his fullness of joy, 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 and his right hand pleasures forevermore. Moetcheraga, oh, Moetcheraga. The appointed time of refreshing. Da 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 da. The word of the Lord is coming from the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 to 4. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible, and it says, Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The teachers of religious law and the Pharisees are the official interpreters of the scriptures. So practice and obey whatever they say to you, but don't follow their example. For they don't practice what they teach. They crush you with impossible religious demands and never lift a finger to help ease the burden. And the note says, The Pharisees' traditions and their interpretations and applications of the laws have become as important to them as God's law itself. Their laws were not all bad. Some were beneficial. Problems arose when the religious leaders, one, held that man-made rules were equal to God's laws. Two, when they told people to obey these rules but did not do so themselves. Or three, obeyed the rules not to honor God but to make themselves look good. Usually, Jesus did not condemn what the Pharisees taught, but what they were, hypocrites. My dearly beloved, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, sons of God, I come to remind you that we must live lives that are pleasing to God. Our lives must line up with the word of God. Here, Jesus is saying that many people in this day, well, in the days with the Pharisees, they were teaching the law and then they had their own made up laws as well. The Jewish laws and the laws and they were making those laws equal to God's law and not giving God first precedence. They were preaching one thing, teaching one thing, but living another. So I want to remind you, son of God, we must live according to God's word. I say it all the time. Romans 12 verses one and two. I beseech you therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies 
a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that we can present what's pleasing, what is the perfect will of God. So, Son of God, we must know the Word of God, we must teach the Word of God, and we must live the Word of God. Faith without works is dead. We can profess our faith. We can say one thing, but it's a whole different story living it. So, I want to encourage you today to live it. Be what you Preach. Be what you teach. God is love. And if we say that we are God's sons, we must love too. The word of God tells us, and they will know. They'll know that we are of him because of the love. It's by tender love that God drew us to him. So we must love as well. Even the scripture says, love your enemies. And it's like, do good, good, do good to them. That's like putting coals of fire upon their heads. But we must love. We must live according to the word of God. Not man's principles. Not according to the world. We can't say, oh, well, everybody else is doing it. No, what does God's word say about that situation? Now, I love you, so I'm telling you the truth. We must live according to the word of God. So, son of God, it's time to take inventory. It's time to review your life and make sure, very sure, that your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. That your life is a reflection of God and the word of God. We should live above reproach. You may be the only church that people see. You may be the only Bible that people read. So make sure that what they read is in alignment with what the word of God says. Make sure what they see is in alignment with the word of God. For we are ministers of reconciliation. It is our job as ambassadors of the kingdom of God. We are responsible for living the life that God is pleased with. Because I want to hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. I want to hear those words. Because the Bible tells us there will be some that says, but Lord, I did this in your name. I did this. Yeah, he's true to his name. So when we ask in his name, even though it may be for the wrong reason, he will not let his name go down. But when he, you go before him, and he said, look, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I know you not. So let's get it right, son of God. Let's check our lives and make sure that they line up with the word of God and make sure that we are constantly staying on the altar to make sure. Make your election sure, listen. Our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. We don't know when the Lord shall call us, but we know that he is coming back. So let's make sure, let's make very sure that we are doing what God has called us to do. And that is first to live a holy life before him that is pleasing to him. So I want to encourage you, son of God, live what you preach. Walk the walk 
and talk the talk. Don't just talk the talk and walk a different walk. But let your walk line up with your talk. And that all should be the word of God. For the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Come on, let's pray. Father, Daddy, Abba Father, we cry to you today, giving you glory, honor, and praise, magnifying your holy and righteous name. Father, we repent. We say, Lord, Father, we're sorry for anything that we've done contrary to your word. Sins of omission, sins of commission. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, please. Purge us with hyssop. Wash us in your blood, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We want to be pure and clean before you. We want to be vessels of honor, meet for your use. So, Father, we say, wash us. Purge us with hyssop. Wash us in your blood. We are clay in your hands. Mold us, make us, shape us, break us. Take out every mar, every blemish, every stain. Everything that's not like you, take it out, Father. We say yes to your will and yes to your way. We completely surrender to you. We say yes, Lord. Yes to your will and your way. Consume us, Father. For you are a consuming fire. Consume us. Burn up everything that's not like you. Consume us in the fire, your purifying fire. You are the refiner. So, Father, I pray that you would purify us just like gold is tried in the fire. Consume us until you see your reflection. Father, we want to reflect you. Father, we crown you as Lord and master of our lives. You are our king. You are sovereign and you are in control of our lives. So, Father, we thank you. And because you are our king, we are the kingdom of God. Father, help us to represent you everywhere we go, taking the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go. Help us to let our light shine so that we will constantly push back the darkness. That someone will see the light of our lives. And we will point them to you. Father, we thank you for miracle signs and wonders that follow our lives because we believe your word. Father, not for us the glory, but that you would get the glory out of our lives. So, Father, confirm your word with signs and wonders. Confirm your servant so that people will know that you are God. Not that we would get gain fame or fortune. But God, that you will be glorified. So we lift your name. We lift your name high in all the earth because you are our Messiah. You are our soon coming King. Father, help us to work while it's day. We understand that when night comes, no man can work. Father, we want to take advantage of everything that you've given us, every tool, every gift. So Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence in our lives. And we yield to your guidance and your teaching. Teach us. Teach us the ways of the Lord. Teach us what to do. Father, this hour is different from any other, but nothing is new for you. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And so, Father, we lean and depend on you. And we know that as we acknowledge you, you will direct our path. Holy Spirit, direct us, lead us, teach us, guide us. Word our lips that everything that we do and say will be for glorifying our God. 
that it will be pleasing to our Father. Father, we surrender all to you, our blessed Savior. We surrender all. Have your way in our lives, Father. Help us to accomplish the mission, the task that you have given and assigned unto each of us. We are praying for every son of God, for every apostle, every pastor, every prophet, every teacher, every evangelist. Strengthen the gifts within us, Father. Holy Spirit, ignite us anew and afresh. Father, we seek your face. But we want a closer, deeper, higher relationship with you. Help us to comprehend the breadth, the length, the depth, the width of your love for us. And help us to minister that same love to a dying world. Teach us, Holy Spirit, how to access everything that we have in the supernatural and manifest it here on the earth. Father, we're praying for healing. We send the word of healing. We release our faith for your people. Father, we're praying that you would give peace to those that are going through bereavement. Father, we thank you that you have promised never to leave us nor forsake us. You'll be with us always. So, Father, continue to strengthen us as we wait on you, as we bless you, as we adore you, as we look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. Help us to finish well. We only can do it with you. We can't make it on our own. We need you. We cannot make it on our own. We need you. We need you. Thank you, Lord, that you are our present help, very present help in time of trouble. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did at the cross. Thank you. And now we have the awesome privilege of representing our Father here on this earth because you have brought us back in right standing. So, Father, we just say thank you for your love. Jesus, thank you for the work on the cross. Holy Spirit, thank you for empowering us. And we thank you for hearing our prayer. It's with gratitude we end this prayer. Giving you all the glory, honor, and praise this to your name, Father. Our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords, our majestic Father, Savior and King. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Amashia. Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, Son of God, I remind you, walk the talk that you teach. In other words, make sure your life lines up with the word of God. Not for men, but that God would be glorified. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Shoraga, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed. And reminded to be all you can for the Lord Jesus Christ. This has been Moet Shalrata, the appointed time of refreshing. Shalom.